Yo, what is going on guys? It is the Shitty Mexican here back from the video tube. Today we are back with our week 5 prep um, for the um, token tube and the Salaz and Salaz. We'll make sure to go check them out in the description below. This is an inner division match, um, one of two because uh, there are rematches for those the three coaches within our division. So, I'm um, definitely going to try to win one, um, at least one of these games. Um, hopefully all goes well. If, um, in case you didn't know, last weekend we did not have a battle because um, after week four we took a one week break so that coaches who may not be caught up on their matches uh, can catch up um, on, you know, just completing the match or uploading them. Uh, so we took that kind of break. Obviously, I already have all my battles uploaded up until this point, and all my battles were done. So, um, I was fine, so I just kind of took a week break, which was good, because, um, you know, it gave me more time to kind of relax. Um, it allowed me to go hang out with some friends and stuff, so I was really grateful for that. Um, in between these weeks, I did make a transaction, or a couple transactions, actually. Um, one of the main problems with my draft previously was that I had two ground and uh, flying types giving me, you know, the same typing twice and then the double uh, ice weak, four times ice weakness, which isn't that good. So I really, I, I've been looking for a lot of flying type recently when it comes to like um, making sure they have the ability to remove hazards. One of which I was looking at was Mandibus, although the coach who uh, has Mandibus currently was not interested in trading it to me, as well as Golbat, they were not interested in trading Golbat to me, which I wasn't like overly excited to use Golbat. Like I like Golbat and all, but it's like I've used it a lot within like the past few seasons of just multiple leagues. So, um, but like Golbat would have still been useful, but he didn't want to trade that. So as I was looking at the dock, I realized, hey, um, Mantine's chilling. You know, Mantine turn on the dock, so I could probably pick up Mantine and tra drop it for Gligar. Except, Mantine, I believe, is tier 3, while Gligar's tier 4. So, I had to drop something else in exchange. So, I decided to drop Sableye, which is tier 3, for Spiritomb. Same typing, just doesn't get Prankster. It's, I like uh, Spiritomb, it's a pretty cool mod. Um... So hopefully we get to use them uh, really well. Um, so let's just get into the Sinister Today Black team. I believe that's everything caught up. Um, make sure to go to check out the PMU stuff too. I'm going to be uploading that just kind of whenever. So yeah, um, let's just get into his team. Um, he is uh, the coach of the Salaz and Salazzles right here. And he has a pretty good team. I like his team a lot. Um, he has Tapacoco, Tornado Steve. Yuri, Nicholas, Volcarona, uh, Donfan, Dublade, Minxiao, Tangrowth, Dredagon, Sneasel, and Armaldo with Volcarona and Tapakoga being his uh, Z users. Whereas we have Cartana, Landers, T, Entei, Rotomosh, Sogion, Dragal, Spiritomb, not say why it has not been updated yet, I guess. Can I update it? Yeah. No, I didn't think so. Um, Sibylai, Gligar, Hitmontop. Meloetta, no. Sableye and Gligar, okay. Okay, restart. We have Gritana, Lander's T, Entei, Rotomosh, Sylveon, Dragald, Spiritomb over Sableye, Mantine over Gligar, Human Top, Meloetta, Aggron, and I'm really thinking of trading Meloetta for one of my, uh, to drop it as one of my Z-Mons and trade it for maybe like Cartana or Entei. Um, we'll see. One of those two. I'm gonna think about it. Um... More than likely will be Cartana, but like I said, we'll see. Um, so this is the team that we decided to bring versus him right here. Let's the load. There we go. Um, so first off, we got Sobe on here with the leftovers pixelate ability, obvious. Lee, Hyper Voice, Toxic, Hidden Power Rock, and Wish. Um, leftovers, obviously, to get recovery over time. Pixelate in order to boost my Hyper Voice up. Hyper Voice or Stab, it, as it hits a lot of steam pretty hard. Um, 
out of his team, the only thing that really like resisted resist it is like Bocarona, Dewblade, and that's it. And then the arena quest can take it just because it's so bulky, honestly. Um, and then I have Hidden Power Rock for the Volcarona because it tried to set up on me. Um, toxic, obviously, the window down some of his walls. Like maybe if Rina Quiz is her generator, her generator over Magic Guard, um, and the Tangrowth, like that would just be like great. And then Wish, obviously, to heal up not only Sylveon, but just my entire team in general. Um, basically, max special defense uh, 244 in um, HP. Uh, in order to be sure we have all HP, 248 in Spadef because we have 30 IVs for Hidden Power Rock. Um, so I couldn't make it 252, that'd just be wasting IVs, and then 16 in defense, because I just had that left over. This is basically our main counter to Top of Coco. This is our main switch into Top of Coco, right here. That's what this is. Um, next we got Roswell, the spirit team with the leftovers with the Infiltrator ability. I believe, what was his other ability? Pressure. Um, I like the Infiltrator though, just in case he has screens up or something. Um, with the foul play, Willow Wisp, Pain Split, and Shadow Sneak. You know, now I'm thinking about it with Infiltrator, I'm able to burn things if I have Infiltrator. If they're behind the stuff, I'm gonna test that in a second. But, um, I'm just like foul play for Stab, and if he wants to start setting up, like, with. I don't know what he'd set up with, uh, physically, and maybe. Does Mean Shell get Sword Stance? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. If he starts setting up, foul play will hurt him more. Or, like, the Dewblade, SD Dewblade. If he decides to bring that, that could be rather spooky, but Foulblade would just hurt it a lot. Will O Wisp for um, just to burn things and cripple some of his more offensive threats. Uh, mainly being that mean shower right there. That mean shower is really scary. Although the Sneasel and the Dredagon would be nice to burn. Uh, Pain Split to maybe get, uh, take advantage of some of his other mons, a uh, better way of. Uh, getting or recovering, such as Rena Quiz uh, having the ability to recover, Fulcarona Roosting, um, and Tangros with Synthesis, just maybe being able to take advantage of them doing that and then just paint splitting more HP off. We could do that. And Shadow Snake just for um, priority. You, like, you never know when it might, uh, might come in handy. And then we're basically max defense, um, 252 in HP, 252 defense impish with 4 in death. This is our uh, mean shell switching 100%. It can't touch us, uh, especially after it gets a knockoff off. So this is kind of uh, what we're bringing in order to deal with that. Um, this we got Hentai, the Entei with the Assault Vest with the Pressure Ability, Secret Firestone Edge, Extreme Speed, and I'm glad I checked this beforehand. Because I cannot run Roar. Uh, that is not a possibility. Um, with Assault Vest. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I checked this beforehand. So what do I want to run instead? Because uh, I definitely want to keep the AB. Um, hmm. What do I want to run? Hmm. I guess we'll turn Sacred Fire. Or not Sacred Fire, we'll turn Flare Blitz. Um. Yeah, we'll turn Flare Blitz. Just for more damage. Um. Let's hope that's with the pressure ability. Sacred Fire, obviously for stab. It just hurts a lot. Stone Edge. Uh. For things that may resist it, such as the Volcarona. We can just body the fuck out of that. A Dredagon neutral, um, that's about it. It could also hit the Torn, although I think Sacred Fire is still our play most of the time. Extreme Speed for Initiative Bomb, or not Initiative, for Priority, uh, just because, you know, Extreme Speed's great. And then Flare Blitz for, um, it just hits Fire, or harder than Sacred Fire, so if there's, like, a point where Sacred Fire maybe can do a KO, but I'm not sure. I could Sacred Fire and then Flare Blitz, because Flare Blitz will more than likely pick up the KO after that. 
Um, we're basically 254 HP, um, mech just so that we have odd HP, uh, 252 attack adamant, and then 12 in spadef. This is a vocal run counter because it has a hard time, like, just doing damage to us, even with, like, King Power Rock. So this is kind of what we have for Volcarona, our Inte. Um, next we've got Overwash, the Rotomosh here, the God. Leftovers with the Levitate ability, Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Toxic, and Paint Split. Hydro Pump, obviously, for Stab. Volt Switch for also Stab. And then Initiative, uh, because the only thing he has to eat it, really, is Dawn Fan for Volt Switches. And even then, it doesn't want to stay in for a Hydro Pump. Toxic, to maybe window down the wall, such as the Tangrowth, which is more than likely going to be a switch into my Rotomosh. Maybe we can also toxic like the Reuniclus, once again, if it's in his Magic Guard, or not Magic Guard, and it's uh, Regenerator. And just in, his entire team in general would be nice to toxic, and then Paints with to get HP back. Um, we're basically max defense to kind of deal with some of his defensive threats that I, because I really do want to keep a Raw's Wall, um, kind of more just for the mean Chow. Um... Little Mosh can deal with the Tornadus really well, even if we don't have like any special defense investment at all. We can still deal with it extremely well, because um, Grass not is doing nothing with since we're a skinny boy. Um, we can also deal with like the Dawn Fan, um, the Dew Blade, the Dredagon, the Sneasel. Like Little Mosh does really really well in um, kind of dealing with the defensive threats. Or the offensive, physically offensive threats in that tornado T extremely well. So, gonna have him on the squad. Next, we got uh, Landers T, Joseph Stalin, the Landers T with the Flying EMZ in Tim B. I think it's my first time, no, not my first time using the Z Stone. My first time using the Flying EMZ, though, in this league. With the Intimidate ability, Earthquake, Fly, Stone Edge, and Rock Polish. Um, 252 Adamant with 12 in. Um, 252 attack adamant with 148 speed, um, 100 HP because um, I was using basically all my leftover IVs or EVs, I mean, and HP, but I wanted to make sure it was on, and so that left me at 8, so I put forward in defense and special defense. Um. Um, the reason we have 148 speed is that means that after we get the rock polish up at plus 2, um, we outspeed a Scarf Mean Chow. And, like, really, we kind of sweep his entire team late game. Like, Earthquake for the Tough Coco, Stones for the Torn Teeth, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Earthquake, Earthquake, Earthquake. And then fly, flying MZ obviously for the Tangrel, or like everything, kind of gets wrecked by this move set, especially if they're weakened a lot. So Lander Steve's hoping to like a sweep, which would be phenomenal, or at least putting an dent in his team to where he can't really recover, and we're gonna put him like on a really bad uh, position for maybe like to end day clean up or something, like something like that. Um, and then finally we have Takai here with the hit on top, uh, stone, close combat, stone edge, rapid spin, toxic. Uh, close combat for stab, and it just kind of hits his team pretty hard. Um, stone edge for things that uh, may not, or that may mind taking a couple close combat, such as the tornadoes. Um, rapid spin to get rid of hazards. Um, especially for the intake, because it's our book run counter, and then toxic just to window down his walls. Uh, this is our hit mon or our sneeze counter, because I don't appreciate knockoffs on any other mons. Uh, so that's honestly the main reason why um, him, him on tops here just for the Sneasel and to get rid of some hazards this is the team we're bringing hopefully all goes well um, I think if there were things if we were thinking about what he's probably going to bring I feel like Top Coco and Torn are definitely uh, something Volcarona is not a bad mon uh, Tangro for sure um, Mean Shell, Scarf Mean Shell Maybe the Dawn fan and the Reuniclus, like those seven. Uh, once again, the Tangrowth, um, Tangrowth, do Tangrowth, Mean Shell, and then these top five right here. Uh, those seven could definitely be brought. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if 
you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to go, um, the balance should be up tomorrow. Make sure to go check out um, Token Tube in the description below as well as IPBL, Twitter, and YouTube as well, and Dark Devil the Commissioner's stuff in the description below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Chief Mexican. Peace.